Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. This is series 2 where we are learning about triangles. Today is webinar number 22. Friends, today we are going to learn a right angled triangle related theorem. So what is this theorem? Let's find out. So the theorem goes like this. If a perpendicular drawn from the vertex of a right angle in a right angled triangle to the hypotenuse. Let's break it down. So first of all, we are talking about a right angled triangle. Right? If a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of a right angle in a right angle triangle to the hypotenuse, all right, then the two triangles on each side of the perpendicular will be similar to each other and to the entire triangle. So friends, let's do one thing. Let's draw a simple right angle triangle. So here I have drawn a right angle triangle ABC. So very quickly, what is a right angle triangle? In any triangle, if one angle A or B or C, any one angle, if it is 90 degrees, right, whether it is angle A or angle B or angle C, that triangle is called as right angle triangle. So in this triangle ABC, actually we have angle B as 90 degrees. For us, angle B is 90 degrees. So what the theorem is telling us is that if a perpendicular is drawn for the, from the vertex of the right angle, so angle B is 90 degrees, so this is the vertex. B is the vertex of the 90 degree, right? We want to draw a perpendicular from B on the hypotenuse AC. We know what is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is nothing but hypotenuse is nothing but the side. It is a side opposite to the right angle, opposite to 90 degrees. So in this case, angle B is 90 degrees, so hypotenuse is AC. So from point B, from vertex B, if I drop a perpendicular, that is what it is telling us, if a perpendicular is drawn from vertex of a right angle in a right angle triangle to the hypotenuse, let's draw this. So, if we draw a perpendicular, in this case BD, such that BDC is 90 degrees, so we drop a perpendicular BD onto the hypotenuse. So here, our hypotenuse, let's just abbreviate it, hypotenuse is equal to AC, right, in our triangle because B is 90 degrees, so AC is hypotenuse. So we draw BD such that BDC is 90 degrees. Then the theorem is telling us that the two triangles on each side of the perpendicular. So what are the two triangles? I have this triangle and this triangle. So the theorem is telling us that both these triangles are similar. So one triangle B, D, C is similar to triangle A, B, D. So this is the perpendicular. On both sides, I have triangle A, B, D and C, B, D. These two triangles are similar. That is the first thing. Also, it is telling us that each of these triangles will be similar to the entire triangle ABC. That is, I should have A, say B, D, C, B, D, C should be similar to triangle ABC as well as triangle, the small, the other triangle A, B, D, A, B, D should be also similar to triangle ABC. 
So friends, this is what the theorem is telling us. Now let's find out how can we actually prove it. Let's clean this up a little bit. So now our approach of how do we prove it, it will focus like this. So first, we are going to take a look at triangle BDC and the big triangle ABC. So if you take a look at triangle, let's write it here. Triangle, I'm looking at triangle B, D, C and triangle A, B, C. In these two triangles, so in the small triangle highlighted in blue, angle D or I think we should write it like this. We should not say angle D because there are two angles. So let's just say B, D, C is 90 degrees which is same as in triangle ABC angle B is 90 degrees angle B or ABC is 90 degrees so in the small triangle highlighted in blue this angle is 90 degrees in the big triangle ABC B is 90 degrees and the other thing friends is that in the small triangle and the big triangle this, uh, this angle is common, so which is basically equal. So angle C in BDC is equal to angle C in ABC. Angle C is common angle or angle C is common to both the triangles. So friends, we can say using, so we can say that using a A similarity rule that is two angles in one triangle equal to corresponding two angles in the second triangle we can say that triangle BDC is similar to triangle ABC using A A similarity rule. Similarly friends if you take a look at triangle ABD, now this time triangle ABD is highlighted in blue. So if we take a look at triangle ABD and the large triangle ABC, we will see that angle D, this angle in the small triangle ADB, a D B is equal to 90 degrees that is given which is the same as triangle uh, as angle B in the big triangle and also in the triangle highlighted in blue and the big triangle this angle is common and angle A is common to both the triangles so we say that triangle ABD, the small triangle, is actually similar to the triangle, the big triangle ABC. So friends, now let us write it down. So we have the small triangle similar to the big triangle and this other triangle also similar to the big triangle. So we will say, we can say that these two triangles are similar to one another. Now friends, let's write it the way you will write it in the tests or in the exams. So we start out by saying what is given. In triangle BDC and ABC, in triangle BDC and ABC, angle BDC is equal to angle ABC both 90 degrees. Angle BCD and BCA same angle. So we can say that two triangles are similar, that is the small triangle and the big triangle are similar by AA similarity criteria. Similarly, in triangle ABD, this triangle and the big triangle, we can say that this angle is 90 degrees is equal to this angle. Angle A is common 
so we can say that these two triangles small triangle and the ABC are similar right using the same AA criteria now also friends finally we have the small triangle is similar to the big triangle right so what we have is we have triangle B D C similar to triangle ABC and ABC is similar to triangle A B D so from here we can say that BDC is similar to ABD that is BDC triangle is similar to A B D triangle and hence it is proved so in the next video friends we are going to take a look at how do we prove the Pythagoras theorem